Hello, this is JW, and this is part three of the Ferranti meters. Uh, this one we're going to have a look at the uh, meter here, which is the FNN2Q, and it's that one that had all that rust inside and the uh, seeds up uh, rusted screws on the outside. So let's uh, power it up using the same setup as we did for the other one and see how it works. Now here's the front of the meter. I've taken the front cover off, and uh, as you can see, the top here is absolutely filthy. It's obviously had a lot of uh, dirt uh, getting in there. This is actually some sort of white paint or something similar, which someone's covered up whatever was underneath that. And as you can see, the whole thing is uh, rather corroded and rusty inside, particularly here at the top. Right, this is the, uh, essentially the same setup as for the other meter. Uh, I've got the uh, current and voltage displayed on those meters at the right hand side there. It's being powered from the device here on the left. I'm um, using these small lamps as a load. Current should be about 16 amps as before, and uh, voltage should be around the 250 mark. So plug in. Okay, well, it is rotating, so I suppose that's something. Voltage is about 252 there, and current is uh, what 16.2 uh, or thereabouts. Well, that's where the other meter, this one, turned out to be almost uh, totally accurate. Uh, in this case, it's seven revolutions taking 41 seconds, or 614 revolutions per hour. Uh, divided by 150, that's uh, 4.09 kilowatt hours. The average voltage over the period was 252.9 and the current 16.14 amps. And if you multiply those two together, you get 4.08 kilowatts. So uh, virtually identical. So it's highly accurate despite its uh, rusty condition and uh, filth and dirt all over it. Right, I've just taken off the front plates there, see what's uh, behind. As you can see, there's an extensive amount of corrosion on this piece here and that actually extends all the way through to the back, so it's obviously been in a wet environment for a considerable amount of time. Here's the numbers from that meter, and they look to be in a lot better condition than the rest of the meter itself. There's no uh, particular dirt or corrosion on any of it, so it may be that this is not the original one that was fitted to it. And there's also a printing on the top there. This one has a metal drive wheel on the back. Uh, the other meter is a plastic one. The front plate, you see, has quite a bit of corrosion on that top edge. It's also absolutely filthy. Goodness knows where this has actually been in its uh, previous life, but uh, it's certainly in a right state. And this uh, plate here, see in that centre strip, has been painted over to potentially cover up whatever was concealed underneath. I've just scratched that paint off, and as you can see, it says property of Midlands Electricity Board.
So yeah, I have the FNN 2Q by Ferranti. Probably a good meter in its time, but this one has been severely abused and left out in the rain or something. So in reality, this is life expired and ultimately it's just a piece of junk. Till the next video, thanks for watching.